Back in April, I made a tweet to all of you saying, Give me your most controversial opinions. And then I forgot about it. Now it's July, almost August. So here we are. I'm going to take a look at your most controversial opinions. Should we look at the quote tweets first? Nope. Wait, but... But there is, though. Okay, whatever. I guess we won't do the quote tweets. Here we go. I'm gonna scroll through and randomly find some stuff. Who the f puts ketchup on pizza? It already has tomato sauce that's the same as ketchup. So, I don't know why you would put ketchup on pizza. It's a little bit weird. Tomato sauce and ketchup are not the same thing. Get rid of the letter C. It only sounds like S or K, so why does it exist? You know what? You're right. Why do we have it? That's a great point. I wholeheartedly agree with you on this. Grapes and grape flavored anything sucks. I love grapes, but I this profile picture is fucking. Oh my god. I don't agree with you on the first part. I really like grapes a lot, but I hate grape flavored things. Grape flavored stuff is garbage and I don't want it anywhere near me. Cake is not good. There are so many better desserts to choose from. I agree. I'm much more of a pie kind of person. Like I'll eat cake, but I'm I'm not a big fan of cake. I can't remember the last time that I actually had cake on my birthday. I always want pie. The only cakes that I like are carrot cake, cheesecake, but it's like, it's like not really a cake. You know, it's like more like a pie. Proper syntax, spelling, and grammar are beyond unnecessary in literature. It's elitist to think literature has to be neat, and considering good education isn't universal, it makes literature too exclusive. It also limits freedom of expression. Let people write how they want. I guess I've never really th thought about that before. Why do we have grammar? If I'm getting the point across, saying me and Mika went to the store, it's a <gasps> It's actually Mika and I. <laughs> Yeah, we both went, and you know that we both went. Watermelon is, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst fruit on this planet. I also don't really like watermelon. The specific ripeness of watermelon, I can get behind, but most of the time that I've had water, like, the texture's weird. I don't think poison exists. I just think everyone who has touched anything considered toxic slash poisonous has just been allergic. Ah! Uh, anyone who has these things in their car smells like shit. I cannot stand it. They don't smell good. I don't like air fresheners in general. If you need an air freshener, then I feel like your car is just dirty. Pickles are so gross. Fuck you. FNAF security breach was very entertaining and came second after sister location. Unbelievable. I <sighs> You do not need to wash your meat before cooking it and people who do are wrong for it Do people wash their meat? Wait, hold on. Is this? It's not recommended. Bacteria in raw meat and poultry juices can spread to other food Wait, yeah spreading bacteria around your kitchen. Yeah, no don't wash your meat it Dr. Phil has destroyed the image of therapy and getting help in America The man has made so many people fear confrontation and the way people's mental health issues are viewed that too many Americans can see therapy as a punishment. I mean, Dr. Phil, like, it's not therapy at all. Like, it's a public intervention. And I think that the lines definitely get blurred when people see that and it's just like, this is what therapy is, not what therapy is at all. Therapy's dope. Birds? Fuck. Damn. Social media is really toxic and harmful. Extremely. Uh, I think about it a lot. At least deleting Twitter. I feel like I need it, and and I don't. But it's it's really toxic, and it's really not good for your mental health. I don't think all social media is toxic and can be super harmful. I think Twitter. Honestly, is probably the worst of the bunch. Kingdom Hearts is not a good game series. I've never played it, and it's because it seems like one of the most convoluted video games of all time. The plot seems... I can't follow that. Diabetes care should be free. Uh, yeah. I think that healthcare should be free in general. And I think that having to pay for insulin, having to pay... This goes across the board for all medical things. Like, people having to pay a pretty penny for 
medication that will save their life and or is keeping them from dying. It should not cost money. It should be free. It's gotten a little bit better, but EpiPens for a while were like seven or eight hundred dollars for a two pack. And thankfully there's like off brand EpiPens now that are much more affordable. That kind of thing is so vile. It's just like, if you can't afford it, it's just like, all right, I guess I'll just die. It's disgusting. The phrase money can't buy happiness is complete and utter bullshit. Other than uh, love and friendship, you literally can't name one thing you enjoy doing that wasn't paid for by you or someone else. Being a person who is financially doing very well, I would agree that money can't buy happiness, but what money does buy is comfort and it makes everything less stressful. As far as my legitimate happiness, I'm not happy all the time because I have money, but because I have money, there's so many other things in my life that I don't have to worry about that other people do. And because I think in modern times, most people's stress comes from not being able to pay rent or having medical bills that they have to pay or whatever, whatever, whatever. While money doesn't buy happiness, it does make you comfortable and it makes it so you are less stressed but yeah it it makes it so you you don't have to stress about a lot of things that people would stress about teachers should be able to stop class to help a student that is stuck and then continue teaching yes this is about my education which me and as a me and a dyslexic person having to read so much but she just gives up because the teacher doesn't stop to help her when she needs it see this is a tough one actually i think that modern public education is inherently very flawed and i don't think it will ever not be not everybody learns the same like that's why i didn't do well in school a lot of it was lack of effort because I didn't care. But a big reason why I didn't care was because I wasn't being taught in a way that was good for me. It didn't make me excited. It made me feel stupid. But this one's tough because I think that teachers should offer more help outside of, you know, that one class if a student is struggling to learn or help them try and find a way that is better for them. Sometimes it's not up to the teacher to teach the way that they're teaching like especially in like public schools and stuff they're taught to teach in a very specific way i also i don't think that teachers get paid enough to put in that kind of effort this is kind of a controversial ish thing to say but like if if a kid isn't learning by the way that they're teaching i don't feel like there's enough incentive for that teacher to go out of their way and do more work than they're already doing because they get paid like shit like our teachers need to be some of the top paid people in the country in my opinion they have to do a f ton of work they are prepping everybody for their entire lives and i think that that's a big issue with a lot of teachers i think a lot of teachers are shitty because they don't have the incentive to do their job better because they're just like well i make 30 grand a year and i'll just do whatever i agree with you because i th i think that kids should be taught in a way that actually makes sense to them and i wish that i was given more one-on-one -on -one help but at the same time i think that teachers just like they're not paid and respected enough in that way to to put in that effort you know unless they like really 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 care which i think they should but again i think it's hard to be passionate when the country is just like yeah just give them like nothing they're severely underpaid for the amount of work and the amount of responsibility that they carry i drink milk in a cup whenever i feel like it because it's good i drink milk straight out of the carton because i am the only one drinking milk i don't drink a lot of milk but i I do dabble. High school education is useless and so is middle school. All you need is basic reading uh, and writing and math to survive. I don't agree with that. I wish that there was more stuff that we were taught that like actually we use in life, you know, because I, I wish there was a class that could teach me how to do my taxes or, you know, how to properly save or how to apply for a more, like there's so much stuff that you have to do as an adult that you just have to figure out. And, and I wish that there were more classes that were required, just like common knowledge. But I wish that 
there was just like classes where it's just like we're gonna teach you how to safely change out an outlet or like you know we're gonna teach you how to drywall like fix a hole in the wall and shit like that like teach you how to like fix flooring or whatever like just general stuff that you have to do at some point in your life there's a lot of skills like that that i think is just like um maybe your parents will teach you or like maybe you'll just figure it out but i wish that there was more stuff like that where it was like actually useful in life mainly financial stuff because i think people especially out of high school and out of college are just like thrown into the deep end and then it's just like i don't know how to do anything you don't owe anything to your parents just because they created you doesn't mean you owe your life success happiness etc to them you create it for yourself also too many parents i know treated kids as trophies or badges of honor that they're good people i agree i don't think i necessarily owe anything to my parents because I would use that as a phrase of like I owe a lot to my parents because of the way that they supported me and stuff I I, I don't owe anything to them you know I'm extremely appreciative and grateful for everything that my parents did do for me and how they supported me and everything and I don't think that I would be where I am without the sacrifices that my parents made I do agree a lot with this of like there's a lot of parents that use their kids as like badges of honor and be like oh i have a good kid that means i'm a good person i hate the 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 like bumper stickers of like my kid is an honor roll student at blah 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 high school it's like cool nobody cares if it's a single player game and my playing does not affect others i see no problem with cheating in a video game yeah as long as it's not online and against other people and stuff like that and as long as there's not a, like a ranking kind of thing then i think it's bad because people will genuinely want to beat the high score or whatever but if it's a single player thing like play the game how you want to play it i did that a lot with animal crossing like i would time travel a lot and do the turnip stuff a, a lot because it's just like eh, yeah, whatever it's not affecting anybody else and i want to make my island the way that i want it so i think that's fine the last of us 2 was actually a really good game and people were mad at the ending because it wasn't brute force like everything else in the series it had a much greater emotional depth and followed more ending a gruesome cycle in an already terrible world i agree i really loved the last of us 2 although i do understand why people were upset with the ending because i think it's just like okay we're doing this whole thing to try and get revenge and blah, blah 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 and then it doesn't happen but i also get why they did that and i also a lot of people didn't like how long the game was but i felt like that added to the experience so much because i was like tired by the end of that game and that's like how the characters felt and i really loved that i really liked the last of us 2 a lot i thought it was a fantastic game anywho I am going to end this video here. Let me know some of your controversial opinions down in the comments below. Just don't be a shitty person. Thanks. Also, if you'd like, I'll put the link in the description. You can join the Twitter community because there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in here, like this photo of me. So join the Twitter community. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you for giving me your controversial opinions. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.